Hi everybody and welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Sometimes when I'm fishing on the river and the river is quite dirty, which it will be getting like that during the up and coming winter months and well when I'm fishing like this I tend to put the rod slightly forward of where my weighted nymphs are. I've probably got a 3mm on the bottom and a 2mm about 8 or 9 inches above it and I'll lead the rod through and I can usually feel the takes but in deeper water it gets a little bit more difficult so here's a little tip on a strike indicator the weighted nymphs and nymphs that I use they could be a pair of you've got a 3mm and a 2mm or I might put three shrimps on that are quite weighty or again I might put just one 4mm weighted nymph on with a, a red tag 2mm nymph a little bit further up and I can fish these quite happily but if you were to fish these underneath a bung some of the bungs cannot support the weight of the nymphs so your strike indicator ends up going under the water people use the bung because they can't use sighters as well and I'm, I'm one of those that's why I don't usually use a sighter but I will use a bung and it does work and I'll show you a video at the end however this is a bit of a special bung compared to the ones that you see in this picture as I say, some of the bungs won't support the weight and as you get bigger up the line, i.e. with your thingamabob and your cork bungs, there's quite a bit of a volume to them. They're a solid object so when they hit the water they'll make a disturbance and a splash as such. But the one I use, there's no weight to it whatsoever. You can build it to any size and it also moves up and down the line so that you are able to move the depth of your flies to the current water that you're fishing and what I'm talking about talking about is small balloons like water bombs they're only about 20 mil in size and they're easy to use and attach to the line and they're magnificent on the water they show all the movement of the flies and when it takes it's very decisive again I'll put a video up at the end so how do we use them one I always carry a pack a small pack different colors Basically take it out, give it a little bit of a stretch. I usually make them about the size of my thumb. That will hold a 4mm or two 2 mils quite easily. Inflate it now. I'm going to oversize it for the moment, but then you can reduce the size by letting a little bit of air out. The next thing you want to do is tie a knot in it. Twist the balloon first a couple of times and then tie a knot loosely and then push the knot as far as you can towards the inflated part of the balloon this leaves you quite a long tag end but that will come more apparent in a minute now the line i'm using is a quite a visible line but this is purely for demonstration purposes i would tie this directly at a point above my flies that could be two foot three foot four foot so basically you get your line you get your balloon place it against the line and then tie another knot in the balloon tag that's whilst your line is against it. Do it loosely and then pull the knot against the other knot so now your balloon is attached to your line. And it will move up and down as you can see here. So you can adjust the depth of your flies. What you do, just give it an extra little tug just to seat that knot and then that tag end with your clippers don't go too close to the second knot but just enough for it to not be a disturbance itself you're using the balloon as your strike indicator and you might think how do I get it off well it's quite easy to get it off you hold the knot with your finger and you twist it a few times and basically the balloon will then just come off the line quite easily if you don't wish to lose it if you don't wish to use the balloon anymore best thing to do is pop it in a little bits of plastic put them in your pocket take them home with you and then put them in the bin and that's as easy as it gets very simple and here's a balloon in action and the best thing about this balloon bung slash strike indicator it's light when it lands on the water, it doesn't make any disturbance, no sound. It moves through the water with ease. It feels every indication, as you can see in this. Slight movement, straight under, strike into it, fish on. 
it's as easy as that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next time.